Hello, BC chemistry students. Mr. Jaraba here. Um, this is a quick uh, video to explain to you how the your next sack is going to work. Um, this is a, the sack, the exper extended experimental investigation on aspirin synthesis, um, and we're going to be commencing this as soon as we get back at the start of term two. So, what is it? It is a three-part. Um, extended Experimental Investigation, it's a lot of words, I'm going to call it EEI, and it's all about the production of aspirin, acetyl salicylic acid. It's worth 50 marks, and these 50 marks are also the 50 marks that you will be submitted for um, as part of your study score uh, calculations. So it's worth 50% uh, of your Unit 3 study score mark uh, that we give, and it's worth approximately 10% of your total uh, SAC mark. A total study score mark. So it's a big one, um, and but we've broken it up to hopefully help you succeed and do your best and to uh, be able to achieve in this SAC. Uh, this EEI has three parts, aspirin presentation, uh, practical investigation, and a summative test. I'll just explain to you what those three things are. So the first part of the SAC, uh, when you come back from the Term 1 holidays, is aspirin synthesis um, they should, be, they should say presentation there. I'll fix that up. Um, in the first part of this EEI, you'll be creating a presentation on aspirin. Uh, it's going to have to be equi the equivalent of 500 words. Uh, this part of the, the sack will actually be done in pairs. So you, uh, the group of eight that you are, uh, will be dividing up into pairs and completing this, um, presentation and you will get the same, you'll get identical marks. So, um, if you get, uh, 15 out of 15, both of you get 15 out of 15. Uh, you have two options in how you want to present uh, your presentation. Uh, you can either do a, a slide presentation by using PowerPoints or Keynotes or um, a variation of that. And with an eight minute narration, um, which means that you'll be using your slides as part of an eight minute presentation um, in the second week of school. Or you can create an A2 poster presentation with also another eight minutes to uh, present your poster. So it's either a slide presentation or a poster. And it's up to you as a group or pairs. Uh, you, get them, you need to make sure that you reference your materials. Um, so if you use reference um, any documents, journal articles, pictures, whatever else, you need to reference them. And as a timeline, um, and we'll explain this when you get back on week one, um, the presentation itself, the slides and or the poster have to be submitted to myself by 9am on Tuesday, uh, the 29th of April. That's uh, week two. Um, on Tuesday morning, and then on that same day, you will be presenting your presentations. I'm very inconsistent, that should be the 29th there as well. I'll fix it up before I upload it. So on the 29th of April, you'll be handing in your, your poster or presentation, you can do it before, and that's fine, and then you'll be presenting your presentation as well. And that's part one of the EEI, and it's worth 15 marks out of 50. There's a rubric uh, that will be uploaded to Edmodo uh, alongside this video to to help you get started. The second part of the investigation is doing a uh, investigation pr practically. Uh, you're doing a, a preparation and analysis of aspirin. This is worth 20 out of 50 marks. And in this second part of the EEI, it's a three part investigation. Three parts including the preparation of aspirin, the testing of purity of prepared aspirin, and the analysis of aspirin using NMR, MS, and IRSpec. We'll be heading to La Trobe University um, again to do this uh, SAC slash PRAC on the 1st of May 2014, which is uh, week two on the Thursday. Um, the practical booklet that you'll get with this will be handed, given to you on the morning of the excursion or maybe even the night before. And then you'll have to hand in the PRAC booklet slash report on uh, handed in back to school on the, the next day, which is Friday the 2nd of May. And they'll be handing, handing that in at 9.30. So it's a PRAC report. It's worth 20 out of the 50 marks. It's got three separate experiments in bold, And it's part of a booklet that you have to hand in by the 2nd of May. Week 2. The third part of the SAC is a summative test on aspirin synthesis. Okay. Uh, so you'll be getting a multiple choice slash short answer um, test worth 15 marks out of the total of 50. And the things that it will include, but not limited to, are the following. Calculation of yields, 
identifying functional groups in aspirin and related molecules, reaction pathways for aspirin, purity and its effects on yield. And this test will be completed on the third week of school, um, on the first class back, which is on Monday the 5th of May, uh, during period 5. So as a summary, um, you have a three-part investigation on um, aspirin involving a presentation, uh, as a prax and a prac report when we go on excursion, and a summative test. Um, I hope this uh, was informative. If you have any questions or queries, please put them on Edmodo. Otherwise, we'll chat about them in class.